Hi, and welcome to this video on Suzy Q. Within this video, we're going to have a look at the Suzy Q CLI, Suzy Q tables, and also the Suzy Q summarize feature. So, what is Suzy Q? So, Suzy Q is a network observability platform slash tool that queries information from your network, stores it within a database, and it allows you to then explore this data in order to troubleshoot, validate, or test that your network is running correctly. Now, this information that Suzy Q learns about within your network gets stored within the database within tables. And what we can first of all do is we can have a look on the CLI and have a look at some of the tables that are available to us. So if we do a table show, we can see that we've got all of these different tables that contain information about our network. So we've got the device table that contains OS versions and device types. We've got different interface tables, OSPF tables, um, et cetera, et cetera. And now what we can also do is we can also have a look to see what fields are stored within this table by doing a table describe and then the name of the table. And now what this will show you is all of the different fields and those field types that are stored. So if we now look at a table, we can do the name of the table and show, and this will return all of the data stored within this table. You can see we've got host name, model, address, etc., etc. Now what we can do is filter it down even more by using the columns option and providing it with the different column names as well the tables. We've also got OSPF, and we can do a show on like so and get all the information back. That's all good. We can, we can see all the routes within the network. Now, the other thing that SuzyQ provides us with is a feature known as Summarize. And what Summarize is, is SuzyQ tallies up and totals up different values within the table that we can then use when we're doing our queries or we're writing our network analysis scripts. So what we can do is on a table, so something such as roots, we can do the summarize option like so. And now you can see that this has got different um, calculations or totals for different values within that table that we can then use. So it provides a really nice way to be able to kind of see an aggregate view of different totals within the SuzyQ database. And this also comes in really, really handy when you start working with the API or the Python library is you can then just directly use these values via the summarize feature. And it saves you having to write that code yourself that you'd normally have to do to work out and calculate these different values. So it just saves you some additional dev cycles. So we've just had a look at a really brief look at the CLI at tables and also the summarize feature. Now with Suzy Q, the CLI is really, really good for troubleshooting because you can really quickly see information that Suzy Q has learned about your network. You don't have to worry about writing any Python code or constructing any API queries. So it's really good from that, from that standpoint. If you then want to automate Suzy Q and perform some more logic and run some automated tests, you can then start to leverage the REST API and the Python uh, library that Suzy Q provides. That wraps up this video about Suzy Q. I hope you found it useful. If you want to learn more about Suzy Q, then head over to packetcoders.io, where we've also got our new course, Network Observability with Suzy Q, which you can also check out. Thanks for viewing, and I'll see you soon.